Okay, uh, we're here at Lake Louisville Ecological Learning Preserve or, um, Area. It's also uh, called locally Leela. And uh, we hadn't been here for a while, and probably about two, three years. We normally come here when the um, when the trout are stocked here in the winter. Uh, but uh, it's uh, here October right now, so it's going to be a little bit more before they stock. And what we want to do is just take a look at what the uh, river's looking like and what the tail race area is and see what we got. And bottom line, this is the uh, tail race to Lake Louisville uh, here in uh, the city of Louisville in Texas. So we're just going down the uh, one road and shortly we'll be uh, in the parking area and hopefully we can get a good idea of what it's going to be like and maybe we might be able to get some fish. All right, uh, we're coming up on the parking area. It looks like there's a few folks fishing over there. We asked the attendant and they uh, mentioned that there were some folks fishing, but um, couldn't tell how the uh, action was. So we'll see you here in a little bit. So wish us luck. All right, so we're here at uh, Leela, Lake Louisville Ecological Learning Area. Got the switch rod out, size uh, six. We're using a Clouser minnow, a craft fur one that we used up at Denison Dam. It's a chartreuse and white. We've gotten a couple of hits so far, but so far we've missed. So uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, uh, so far we've seen folks catching some white bass, yellow bass, maybe even some hybrids. So far on our switch rod, we've gotten several misses. So we haven't uh, hooked up yet, but uh, we're sure to hope that uh, we do shortly. We're just going to walk over to the other side here and um, see if we can try the other side now. Alrighty, so uh, we did make it to the other side and we were able to uh, check out how the things were going. We saw some folks over here by the tail race catching some nice looking fish. Ourselves able to uh, fish just uh, down river from them and uh, unfortunately did not get any bites. So we ended up going on back to the other side. And uh, as it turns out, uh, going to the other side, finally able to hook up with our first fish. We're uh, drifting a uh, near deer under a strike indicator and we were able to keep it right into the uh, pocket or at least in the run where they were hanging and sure enough we were able to get this guy. It turned out to be a uh, a white bass. Uh, so our first fish of the day is a white bass on a strike it or uh, on a near deer. Hey, well, this is the rig we used. It was a near deer, no trailing rig, and an indicator about three foot below, and just drifting it through the uh, run here. All right, uh, so we've got that one white bass, and we let him go. Now we're just going to see if we can play around with some of these carp we see over here in the shallows. Wish us luck. All right, to uh, give you an idea of what we're doing, we see a whole bunch of carp or buffalo uh, in this area. You can see some of these dark patches, and what we're doing is we're casting and doing some sight casting, and as we get their attention, we're hoping to uh, set the hook and be able to get them, but unfortunately, uh, most of the time, uh, they're, they're looking like they're going for the fly, and then they turn away. Uh, and what ends up happening is this, uh, we end up, sure enough, uh, foul hooking instead of uh, getting them like we wanted to. Uh, but they did have some interest in the fly and unfortunately they would turn around or turn away or at least we'd miss that hook set. All right so uh, speaking of hook sets here's one where we're uh, we got him on the line and he's taken out uh, the fly line and we're trying to bring him in and we missed uh, end up uh, missing this one. Got him that time. <laughs> and yes uh, we got him this time and like we were saying we were a lot of hits and misses. In this case, uh, we had them coming to the line or coming to the fly. We set the hook, and unfortunately, didn't get them in the uh, in the mouth. We ended up getting them, um, I believe, on the side. But he put a really good fight, put a real nice bend on that six weight, and uh, maybe it took us a couple of minutes to bring him in. And once we did get him there, uh, had to deal with some of the uh, algae and whatnot. But um, we did uh, get this guy in hand. And we're able to at least uh, get a good view of them up close. All right, so uh, here's our second uh, one that we were able to get on the line. And again, this one put up a good fight. And unfortunately, this was another one that was a, a, a foul hook. And in this case, we saw him turn at our fly. And as soon as we saw him, that it looked like he was taking the fly, we. Uh, quickly set the hook, and sure enough, we got him right above the mouth, closer to the eye, I guess. Uh, that said, uh, still a good time uh, catching this guy and being able to uh, get some good um, good fight on that rod. All right, we're up close and personal here at the uh, the discharge. 
and uh, we're just checking things out. Cool stuff. Okay, uh, so we shifted away from the uh, tail race area, just a little bit down river from there, back by the rocks and that run where we had uh, caught the uh, white bass, but on the other side. In this case, uh, we started finding a pattern with the uh, near deer, in this case a white near deer, and some little crappie just hanging out just over here in this one. Um, All right, what we're doing is uh, using the uh, white near deer under indicator, just finding it in that money zone, and uh, getting these little crappie. All right, so we uh, found that pattern and kept up uh, just catching these little guys. Here's another one where we're um, kind of playing around. We just missed this uh, one hook set, but fortunately right after this one, we'll get another chance at this guy. And sure enough, we got one on the hook. All right, they're still in the hole. Had a couple of misses, but we got this guy. You can see they're undersized crappie. Still fun to catch on that white near deer. All right, uh, we're headed uh, out. Ended up uh, catching a few fish, mainly catch and release. Had some of those uh, buffalo, had some fun with uh, some crappie. Did get one white bass and had several other misses here and there. But overall, it was a good time. Saw a bunch of other folks catching some nice looking uh, fish, uh, be it white bass as well as some hybrids. So uh, it looks like the fish are there. Just uh, they weren't going for what we were offering. But bottom line, still had a great time. So next time, we'll catch y'all later. Good luck and good fishing.